When Emma Jean Wilson found a lump in her breast, doctors said the prognosis was bleak. You had a very rare cancer. Very rare. One in three million and only one percent is in your breast. It was angiosarcoma. So rather than rely on chemotherapy and radiation alone, Emma Jean decided to turn up the heat on her treatment, literally. The blue is the temperature. She enrolled in a clinical trial at the Duke University Medical Center, one of thousands of volunteers who, along with doctors, are hoping that something as simple as heat can improve standard cancer treatment. They said, well, what we'll do is we'll fix a table and your breast will lay in a bath of water and we'll sort of microwave your breast. And I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> microwave your breast? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that really is what it is. Duke is one of a handful of research institutions pioneering this new field called hyperthermia. While scientists have known for centuries that heat has healing powers, Duke's Mark Dewhurst has figured out how to harness that heat and direct it right into tumors. The temperatures that we're looking for are in the range between 104 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. In that range, we get the effects we want, but we don't burn the tissue. Is it uncomfortable? Is it... You know, is it, gonna uh, well, get, you know, is it getting hotter and hotter? It will. Dewhurst and his colleagues know that the heat weakens tumors in two crucial ways. It damages tumor cells, and it makes the tumors more vulnerable to radiation and chemotherapy. We can deliver 30 times more drug to a tumor with it like this than you can with just the free drug itself. The Duke team is experimenting with heat on some of the most stubborn cancers, breast, melanoma, cervical, ovarian, designing and developing intricate heating systems as they go. And in the next several months, using this brand new equipment, Duke researchers will be experimenting with heat on entire bodies for people whose cancer has spread. Once this study is over, the next step will be to get heat therapy FDA approved and on the market. That will probably take a few years, but the goal, says Mark Dewhurst, is to one day soon have heat actually being prescribed, just like a drug. You think we can cure people this way? Uh, I, would, I, would, I would hope that we could have dramatic anti-tumor effects. Whether or not we can cure them is hard to know. For now, Emma Jean isn't worried about a cure. She's content to sit back and think warm, well, really warm thoughts. Elizabeth Caledon, CBS News, Durham, North Carolina.